Hey guys, we're on Tuesday, April 28th. Um, we're looking at set chapter 10, section 8, page 304, savings accounts. So go ahead and turn there in your textbooks, page 304. Um, we're going to be talking about two predominant concepts in this video to help you with your work and to help you move on as we can continue to add concepts to this um, to personal finance. The first is we're coming back to this idea of simple interest. Now if you look on the board hopefully you guys can see this. Remember that our formula for interest is interest equals PRT. Now I want you to go ahead and look at our model problem number one So as we walk through this. Be sure to remember, of course, to read through uh, this page um, as your regular reading. It'll be helpful in explaining some things and take your time while you're reading through the model problems. There's some tidbits we'll cover, but it would be important for you to read as well. Model problem number one says, a deposit of $500 is made on the first day of an, a of an interest period and left on deposit. If 3.5% interest is paid semi-annually, find the interest due after six months. Okay, so let's, for, let's go and fill in the blank. We understand that I equals PRT. Well, we know the amount of money being deposited is $500, right? There's a payment. Our rate is at 3.5% or 0 0.035. And then our time is six months. Now, they've used two words, but they're talking about the same thing. We understand that interest is being paid out semi-annually, which is twice a year, right? So that means... If it's twice a year, it's every six months. So they're asking after six months or after interest has been added once, how much? How much is the interest? How much interest is due? So once you fill this in, the 0.5 we get, of course, because six months, half of the year, 50% of a year, 50%, 0.5. Um, we multiply. P times R times T, $500 times 3.5% times one half of a year, 0.5, gives us our interest of $8.75. Now we've covered that concept a couple of times in some previous videos, so if you have some questions, go ahead and refer back to those. Otherwise, let's move on to what I want to talk to you about today. So I'm going to move this over so you all can see. All right. Model problem number two discusses our difficult concept for today. The Freedom Bank pays 3% interest compounded daily from the date of deposit until the date of withdrawal. Compute the interest earned on November 23rd if the balance is $450. Okay? Use your, you can go ahead and obviously use your calculator. Now in order to find this we've got to do a little bit of some breakdown and they explain this in the model problem and model, model, model problem number two a b and c so if you don't quite understand the way i'm saying it please read through that because the explanation is all all the tools are right there but for right now we're looking at this so three uh we want to first find our quarterly interest rate. You'll see that in model problem two, letter A. How do we do that? Well, let's look at the problem up here on the board. Okay? 0 0.03 is our 3% interest rate. Now, we understand that quarterly speaking, there are four quarters in a year. That makes sense since quarter means one-fourth. So in order to find the quarterly rate, because we have to find the quarterly rate to find the daily rate, we have we first take 0 0.03 and divide it by 4, which gives us our quarterly rate of 0 0.0075. Now once we have that, we take that number, we're going to divide that by 92. Why 92? Where did I just pull that number out of? 92 is the number of days in a quarter. Okay? If you look on model problem number 2, letter B, they explain this. Find the daily interest rate to seven decimal places by dividing the quarterly rate by the number of days in the quarter. Since there are three months in a quarter, we're going from October 31st, November 30th, December 31st, right? We add all these up, 92 days. So 0 0.0075 divided by 92 gives us our daily interest rate of 0 0.0000815. Now we take that, we multiply that by the amount deposited, which is $450, giving us the interest to the nearest cent of $0.04. Cents. All right? So we go, we're asking to find 
the daily interest rate, and they ask that on um, numbers 5 through 8, and you're going to be doing numbers 1 through 8 for today, but on numbers 5 through 8, you're going to be applying this principle. You want to take, you want to take the percentage, first find the quarterly rate, then find the daily rate. Now remember, because not every month has the same amount of days, that there may be the days in a certain quarter, may, there may be more days in a certain quarter than there are in the days of another quarter. So don't just assume it's 92 for all of them. It was 92 for October, November, and December for that quarter. All right. If you guys have any questions, drop me a message on the LMS on RenWeb or at davidgall at lcspatriots.com.